Greetings everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at NCA level 3 probability distributions achievement standard at an achieve level. And in this video, I'll be focusing on uh, processes and steps involved in uh, solving uh, problems that uh, involve uh, inverse normal uh, using a graphics calculator. So in this system, you'll be asked to find the cutoff point uh, given the probability and uh, the processes that are involved. So you will need to draw a diagram and label it and shade the area given as per the question. So you can use the uh, normal tables to find the Z score. And uh, please note that uh, if you're using a graphics calculator, then there is uh, no need for you to find the Z value. And uh, once you've got the Z value, then you can rearrange the um, uh, Z score formula and uh, then solve for the X. Or if you're using the uh, graphics calculator, then uh, you'll need to go to uh, inverse normal and then uh, enter the uh, area which is the probability mean standard deviation and then you can find the unknown uh, x value so in this question it says that the finish times for marathon runners uh, during a race are normally distributed with a mean of uh, 200 minutes and a standard deviation of 30 minutes and then the question says uh, calculate the uh, time below which 80 percent of the marathon runners will complete the race so in this case we're given the um, probability so we will begin by drawing a diagram. So in this case, you can see that uh, I've got 80% uh, uh, that's shaded and below means uh, you will um, pick uh, the unknown uh, time value and 80% uh, means you shade on the left hand side. And then the mean value is 200 and the area value here, which denotes the probability is uh, 0 0.8. Uh, once you have done that, then you can use your graphics calculator so you'll need to go to um, inverse normal and just note that the area is uh, shaded on the uh, left hand side below t value uh, remember that the area denotes probability so that's 0 0.8 but then uh, the tail settings on your calculator could be left and um, then enter the uh, parameters uh, the standard deviation is 30 and the mean value is 200 uh, once you've entered those then uh, that will give the uh, value of the time below which 80% of the marathon runners will uh, complete the race. So from the main menu, um, go to states uh, menu and then uh, F5 to get the distributions. And in this case, we are looking at normal distribution and normal distributions got three options. We are after inverse normal. And once you hit that, uh, please always check the tail setting. So in this case, tail settings left and we have got the area of 0 0.8. The standard deviation that is given in the question was 30, and the mean value is 200, and then uh, click execute. You'll get the cutoff time of 225.25 minutes. So as you can see, the graphics calculator gives you a time value of 225.25 minutes. So again, just a reminder, please do not forget to change the uh, tail settings on your calculator. Uh, otherwise, if you go for right tail, 80% will be somewhere here, which will give you a value of uh, below um, uh, 200, which will be incorrect in this case. Once you've got that, then you write the answer in uh, context. Below 225.25 minutes, 80% of the marathon runners will complete the race. Now, I hope this makes sense. I would suggest you can pause the video and take notes as you go. Uh, using the graphics calculator is pretty straightforward. The only thing you will need to remember is um, the tail setting. So here's a quick summary. Uh, from the stats uh, mode, you will go to um, uh, distributions by clicking F5. And then uh, you will click F1 to get to the normal distribution, which will give you three options. And in this case, we are looking at uh, F3, which is the inverse normal. And once you hit inverse normal, it will ask you for the tail settings. So it's either left right or central and in this case it is the uh, left tail and uh, the area value uh, depends on what the questions um, are mentioned as uh, then you have got the standard deviation mean value and then uh, press execute you'll get the uh, final result and uh, in this case you can see i've used uh, the area value 0 0.8 uh, standard deviations uh, 30 mean value of 200 which gives you 225.25 minutes i hope this makes sense i would suggest you can pause the video and take notes as you come thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video